And we're back with another episode. Let's play Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host, Nick Legato. Yeah. Let's get to it. You can tell when I've just started having to talk for the day. And then you can tell when I've come back after a while from either teaching a class and my voice is already gone. You know, when you teach 75 students in one class and you have two classes a day, and most of them can't shut the hell up for longer than 10 minutes, you know. It, it, it's quite a feat. Um, we're looking for a merchant. Uh, this is where the bird landed, so this is where we are supposed to be. Now, yeah, here he is, I think. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you in a second here. Alright, the reason I'm skipping battles, if you're curious, you shouldn't be, but whatever. Mainly because all the enemies here are, uh, it's the word I'm looking for. I don't have any of that armor yet. Uh, most, or do I? Most of the, en yeah, I don't. Most of the enemies here are, uh, just straight up, literally what they were in the world of, exactly what they were in the world of balance, so, uh, Weak ass enemies. You would think that they try to advance him here and says that, but no. Oh, oops, wrong door. <laughs> this one here, rust dissolved. Now where does this lead? We wonder. To a place called Mount Zozo. Hmm. Well, on the lighter note of Mount Zozo, everything here is weak to melee attacks. And in the sense, I mean, I'm sorry. In a sense, all they do are melee attacks. So. Not a big deal. This place is not tough at all. But I can remember. There's one enemy that's kind of interesting. And the Ursus will steal a shit ton of money from you. But, uh, there, there is a trick you can exploit if you are short of cash. We can't do it now, but we can do it later. And I plan on doing it later if I really am that broke. But I probably shouldn't be. I mean, we don't have to buy a lot for a while, so I think we're good even on the money aspect here for for a little while. <laughs> what is this noise? It's a red cap. Red cap is a decent piece of headwear. Um, probably over the circle for for uh, for this guy <laughs> for Sabine. It's a piece, decent piece of decent piece of headwear. Ups his speed a little bit. Ups his vigor a little bit, which will help his melee attacking. Um, it lowers his defense by one, but that's negligible. It's the same with Stanima, and it does lower his magic power pretty, pretty heavily. So, is there somebody else? No, I don't think he would enjoy it too much. Well, actually, this is probably a better deal for uh, Edgar here, then. It raises his HP by 25%. Look at that, he's got the highest HP now. Next to Sabine here. Damn tonics, so useless. At this point, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, there's an interesting turnaround there. Um, I do recommend red caps actually for a lot of people. So anybody who's not wearing a mystery veil at some point would benefit from the red cap, hands down. It's so it's such a decent piece of headwear. Uh, it's always brought me happiness. And there's an ice shield, which is always good. Free ice shield. Um, damn it. Alright, so. Now. Look at these stairs! Um. There it is. Couldn't see it right away. Running, 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 running. What is this noise? A thunder shield is actually a good shield. Um, in some respects, better than some of the elemental shields we have. In various, well, in various respects. I, I wouldn't, I don't know. Depends on how you feel about it, but... It kind of absorbs a little of everything, one might claim. It, it, it's a jack-of-all-trades shield, which isn't too bad. Alright. Walking. And we're fighting a new enemy, so I won't. <laughs> of course we fought in board. The, this type before. He won't cast uh, Magnitude 8, so you got nothing to worry about there. Just beat him up, like many of the enemies we've been fighting on the Mount Zozo. <laughs> Just an old beat up or two. I haven't even cast any spells this whole entire time. No reason to. Just pull him down with your main skills. Save, save your MP. 
It'll it'll be ha it'll make you happy if you do that. And happy MP is good MP. Yeah, I don't. Oh damn it. Oh well. And we're walking. Yeah, not hard battles. Not at all. And we want to make sure we run into some of these enemies, specifically the Ursus. Damn it. In the Aegis Shield or Aegis Shield, Aegis Shield, whatever. It's a good, um, good shield. Really good when added with armor and equipment you normally wouldn't have on certain people. So it is really good armor. Um, this is an enemy I'm glad we ran into. I wanted to make sure we ran into these guys at some point. They're the craziest little guys I've ever known. And I just screwed up my blitz. Send them with flash. They can cast Harvester. They can do the kitty one, which can't grant haste on themselves. They're scary. But other than that, they're not, well, not scary at all, really. They're just weird. <laughs> For enemies, that's insane, anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Die. I'm going to get to a place with a save point soon. As you can see, they're weak to magic. That magic weakness is exploiting it every day. Yay. Uh, yay, yay. <laughs> uh, God, this might be now. All right, let's keep walking, 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 walking. Now we're outdoors, which looks just like a pallet swap of uh, Mount Colts here. Not a pallet swap, but a slightly variable Mount Colts. New enemy here, the Scrapper. Again, none of the enemies are really too threatening here. They can actually use pull, which is interesting. If you find that kind of stuff interesting. I don't. <laughs> because I've been visible. Now, if Celis was a, was, you know, because Celis is wearing the Minerva, I would probably put the, uh, if she wasn't dual wielding, I'd probably put the uh, Aegis Shield on her, but oh well. <laughs> Not worried about it right now. Aegis Shield was the same shield General Leo had earlier when we had to fight with him. Mystery dum dum dum. All right. Why do you not have an Esper on you, you bastard? Ugh. What Esper should he have had on him? I don't know. What was he working on? That's weird. It's never happened before. Well, I, maybe it's happened, but still. Maybe Torado from rear. No, 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 no. That's weird. All right. Well, we're gonna put Zunseek for the moment. Um. Phantom can come off of you, because you could put Torado on, or Fenrir if you wanted to, or even Palador, but that's not really what I'm looking for. What I am looking for is Golem. Golem. Tritok is okay here. Yeah, she's got a long way to go, but look at that. She's learning Flare pretty quick. Okay, let's save it again. Yeah, this is argued to be one of the harder dragons, and yeah, I just kind of ruined it, but I don't care. Come on. It's lagging. Jeez, I hate when it does that. I don't know why it's doing that all the time. <laughs> Alright, we need to get to where the dragon, we can actually touch the dragon, which is here. Alright. This dragon is a freaking bastard. Um, we don't really need invis anymore, so let's just go ahead and just unload some magic on this guy, the, some of the stuff that we have. Zone Seek and Golem will help us extremely in this battle. This battle is tough. Um, he's got a lot of HP. He's got some MP, but you can, if you really wanted to, with the ladies, even though his weakness is actually Bolt, you could cast Rasp on him until he had no more MP left, but anything you can think of actually might help. <laughs> Um, but I, I don't know. But we don't have book three, so you know. But we have. Let's see. We do have that skill up. So we need one person to attack and one person to kind of heal everybody. So that'll be. Celis will be our attacker, and Terra will be our pretty much our run-of-the-mill healer here, since uh, she's got the two enhancers, so she can cause more damage overall. Which to me makes more sense. We'll have Edgar jump which is where his strength lies, and Sabine will bum rush. 
Which is... Uh, if he doesn't screw it up. You fool! Now, we could Runic, but Runic really doesn't do much of anything. And Rage is probably the most painful attack that he's got in his arsenal. Take that! And that! And some of that! We could morph if we needed to, but I don't really see a reason to have to do that right now. We're doing okay, though. He hasn't really used Rage yet, which is nice. He's actually been wasting a lot of turns using melee attack. Wow. That wasn't too bad at all. And yes, he is a victim of Vanished Doom, if you wanted to know. I was expecting a lot worse. Well, we got 10 magic points and a force armor. Force armors are pretty good, actually. Um, and they're really good when combined here. So the force armor will go there. Look at that magic block. Woo! And then we equip the Aegis shield with it. Look at that. 100%, over 100% magic block. That is one hell of a, you know, setup right there. <laughs> You know, so since we don't have another Minerva, that is a great option. Okay, so let's keep walking. Since there, we pretty much killed the strongest thing here. All right, and we're walking. So yeah, that's one of the hard, in my opinion, that's one of the harder dragons, I guess. If you're not prepared, if you don't have a, you know, some good gear, you know, yeah, literally, if you don't have some of the gear we picked up. But, yeah, you know, if you're under-geared, like, if you didn't do a lot of the Colosseum stuff, then you'll, you would realize, um, that... Interesting. Very interesting. And it's locked. Hmm. What is this now? So, it appears that we have found Cyan, who's been pretending to be someone he's not in order to help make somebody else feel good. I don't know. A noble is the heart of the world before the fall. The life of light is the dog. What a poetry writing fag. <laughs> he's not a fag. Well, it is Cyan, so. <laughs> One of the characters I despise. <laughs> oh jeez! Oh no! No! He's like a you know a dirty perv or something or some weirdo. You know how dare they know about my secret desire for making flowers and, and, and writing love letters? And, oh no! Don't look! <laughs> if he lived in Hollywood, he'd be a closet case fruit fag. Fruit and fag being meaning he's a double fag. You know. He's so gay, it's scary. This is an outrage! Seriously. <laughs> it's funny, he's more like a samurai than a knight. At least that way he battles in this game. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Places to go, people to see. Women too. Well, <laughs> oh, only if Lola knew the truth. Oh, God, this game, I tell you, it has its moments. We'll see you there.